Hi y'all, my name is Tina. Welcome back to Reaction Row. Today I am watching episodes eight and nine of season three of Hannibal. The last episode was so wild, episode seven. Um, Hannibal surrendered because he wants Will to know where he is at all times. And I have a feeling, because I always say that Hannibal is like 10 steps ahead of everyone, that even though he's surrendering to Jack, I feel like he probably already has an escape plan and route in his mind and um and he's going to find his way back to Will somehow <laughs> because he's obsessed with him. Um but that's what I'm thinking and I'm so glad we got to see Mason's demise and that Margot doesn't have to put up with him any longer. Um that was a long time coming, I feel. Um but yeah, the episode was really great. I really enjoyed it. I saw recently that Mads and Hugh were doing some sort of like reunion or convention. I know a lot of celebrities are doing conventions right now. And how exciting. They were in Dallas, which is not that far from me. So um, it would have been nice to know that they were doing that. But um, how exciting for those of y'all who have able to meet them and take a picture with them. And maybe you can get a picture with Hannibal doing his like amused, smug look. Um, or Mads, I should say. That would be really exciting. So yay for those of you who have been able to do that and, and see them. Um, I think that they probably have more scheduled out. Um, but it came on my radar because they were in Dallas. So um, that's why I found out about it. And it was like a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get started. I want to thank you all for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. And those of you who have subscribed to my Patreon, I appreciate your support so much. Um, that is where I have full and edited reactions if you'd like to join. The links are in the description box. I'm going to get started. <laughs> It's usually the music they play when they show the um, stag. later okay I like a time jump congratulations Hannibal you're officially insane there's no consensus in the psychiatric community what I should be termed you've long been regarded by your peers in psychiatry as something entirely other for convenience they term you a monster what do you term me I don't. You defy categorization. I can see that. Do you still prefer beer to wine? I stopped drinking beer when I found out what you were putting in mine. Who? Yeah. You had enough to convict you a dozen times over. The baker's dozen. Lest we forget Mason Virgin. Or Cole. And when you last made it for me? The blood was from a cow, only in a derogatory sense. <laughs> and the derogatory sense? Blood and chocolate. That should have been the subtitle of my book. But I promised myself I would never use colons in my titles. Colin's lose their novelty when overused. You will have to write another book. Mm. I wonder what happened I with know. Freddie. Freddie Lounge. They haven't really him. shown her this season. Like overused punctuation, the novelty of Hannibal Lecter has waned. What is the subject of your new book, Frederick? The Tooth Fairy. 
I find folks are a bit more interested in him. He is the debutant, although he lacks your love of presentation. More of a shy boy, this one. Love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the Tooth Fairy? I think he doesn't like being called a Tooth Fairy. He is not as snappy as Hannibal the Cannibal, but he does have a much wider demographic than you do. You, with your fancy illusions, your fussy aesthetics, you will always have niche appeal. But this fellow, there is something so universal about what he does. He kills whole families and in their homes. Strikes at the very core of the American dream. You might say he's a four quadrant killer. I guess Will was able to move on. But then here comes Jack, pulling him back in. And then if Hannibal knows that Will's on the case, and he's already a little bit jealous of that tooth fairy, he might be more jealous if Will's investigating him. Ah. letters. Blood splatter analysis. Where is Dexter when you need him? sake blood the leads falls and dies outside his son's room the smashing of mirrors begins With the eyes, ran an aphis. He's not in the print index. We could run a have you seen these teeth sort of APB. They're distinctive. Peg lateral incisors here and here. Uh, I mean, the teeth are all crooked. Central incisor's got a corner missing. The other central incisor has a groove in it. A snaggle tooth, son of a bitch. And he bites. A lot. I have a history of biting and lesser assaults. Maybe a fighting pattern as much as sexual behavior. Maybe that's why he bought the teeth. What's okay. your fighting will? Please don't worry, Mr. Doc. What do you expect me to do? The best you can, that's all. There's something else I can do. I can wait until I'm driven to it by desperation in the last days before the full moon, or I could do it now. Gonna go talk to Hannibal? Well, it might be of some use. Is there an opinion that you want, Will? It's a mindset I need to recover. I have to see Hannibal. I had a feeling they were gonna have to go to him for uh, work in the last episode.
Carl, I can smell him. That's the same atrocious aftershave you won't caught. I knew we could smell him. Hello, Dr. Lecter. Hello, Will. Did you get my note? I got it. Thank you. Did you read it before you destroyed it? Or did you simply toss it into the nearest fire? I read it. And then I burnt it. He knows him so well. We came anyway. I'm glad you came. My other callers are all professional. But now psychiatrist and grasping second raters. Pencil diggers. I want you to help me, Dr. Lecter. Yes, I thought so. Are we no longer on the first name basis? The I'm more comfortable, the less personal we are. I smell dogs and pine and oil beneath that shaving lotion. It's something a child would select, isn't it? Is there a child in your life? Well, Jeez. I gave you a child, if you recall. I came about Chicago and Buffalo. You've read about it. I've read the papers. I can't get them. They won't let me have scissors, of course. You want to know how he's choosing them? Thought you would have some ideas. You just came here to look at me. Came to get the old scent again. Why don't you just smell yourself? I expected more of you, Doctor. That routine. It's old hat. Whereas you are a new man. Are you a good father, Mom? Jeez. Can't hide anything from Hannibal. Let me have the file. An hour and we can discuss it like old times. Thank you. Is dead. How oh, may have your heart? What are you doing here? There are only five doors between Hannibal and the outside. And I have the keys to all of them. Hannibal's never been great with boundaries. He who sups with the devil needs a long spoon. Not letting him in, Alana. Don't worry about me. I'm not just worried about you. Last time it didn't end with you. Know a fair amount about how these families died. How they lived is how he chooses them. How is he choosing them? He's got Will dressed up in moral dignity pants. Nothing is his fault. You've been courteous. And you've been receptive to courtesy. These niceties are conditioned. 
and the conditions are non-negotiable. I must be hating myself. I know what you're afraid of. It's not pain for your solitude. What is it, being forgotten? It's indignity. Oh. You're a little bit like a cat that way. I'll take your books. I'll take your drawing. I'll take your toilet. I'll have nothing but indignity. Was he really there? And if so, how did Hannibal get that smell out of his office? <clears throat> how about coffee? Let's talk about something for a minute and get it out of the way. You haven't said anything since I mentioned speech therapy. I understand you because you speak very well and because I listen. People don't pay attention if you don't want to talk, okay? But I hope that you do talk because you can and because I'm interested in what you have to say. <gasps> Here's what I like, Francis. I felt no sympathy from you. I like that. Of course you don't. And you're doing the right thing. It's costing you too, I know that. I'm here. And I'll be here whenever you come home. Yeah, she seems nice enough. I was wondering about her. <laughs> of course, he has to have the dreams. Jack making Will, not making, but kind of coursing Will. For what? Hunting with your father was the best time you've ever had. Now you're going to hunt with me. Did she really want to do it? Ah. She told, um... It's your attorney. Thank you. She told Will that she felt like she had no choice but to do it, so... To go along with Hannibal.
That's how he sees himself with like the tail. And I know that there's like a Hannibal movie called The Red Dragon or maybe it's a book or something. I know I've heard it before, but I thought it was about Hannibal, not about some other character. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm going to watch the movies. Like I said, I'll probably start with Silence of the Lambs because I've never really seen it. It came out when I was like a little girl or maybe even before I was born. I don't know if it's an 80s or 90s movie. But I know I've seen clips of it with Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster, you know, from when I was little. But I've never seen the movie. So I think I'll start with that one. And I think there are movies about Hannibal separate from that that I want to watch, but um, I have a few more episodes to go of this before I do that. Um, so this is different because it's about a different type of serial killer, but um, I knew that they were going to go, or that Will was going to have to go back to Hannibal for help to consult with him to find another killer. It just, it's bound to happen. I do like that we have a time jump of three years. Um, I like how when they show Hannibal and he's behind bars, they give us, the audience, the image of him in his office. I like that. It um, it adds to Hannibal's aesthetic and how he likes things to look and everything, but he's in his jumpsuit, which must be horrible for him because he likes him a three-piece suit. And I know that if I had to wear the same jumpsuit every day, I would be annoyed. Uh, <laughs> but um, we... I feel so bad for Will, like he was living his life with his girlfriend and kid or wife. I don't know if she's his wife or not, but he's living his life, moved on. And here comes Jack rolling in again and bringing anxieties to Will again. And Will's probably dreaming again. And he's probably didn't even deal with any of that when he's been home. So only Jack could ruin it. And then for Jack's office to have filtered Hannibal's letter. So they knew what Hannibal was saying to Will. And he still goes to Will about the cases. It's just frustrating. Because it feels like Jack is using Will for his own captures. You know, to get these killers. And that's what he did in the beginning. But he saw what, the, what road it led for Will. So he knows that it's not healthy for him. And he still went to him and tried to coerce him into helping him by showing in the pictures, knowing that it would pull at his heartstrings. So that's annoying, but um, I like I like uh, that Alana is in charge of Hannibal's um, stay, you know, and we got to see Freddie, which I've been wondering about her since season two, since we haven't really seen her. And it looks like everyone has written a book, Chilton, Freddie, Maybe Alana, I don't know. Um, and they've all benefited off of Hannibal and lied, I guess, in their books, embellished the truth. So I'm excited to see where this is going to go. I have a feeling that Hannibal's going to get out. That's what I think. I think he's going to get out and he's going to take Will. <laughs> I don't know. But he's obsessed with them, so who knows. All right, well, I'm going to end there. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.